Uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation. It's a great honor for me being here. It's very important what you did uh, in a three days conference about energy transition, which maybe is the biggest challenge of our era, not only for Greece, not only for European Union, but, but most probably for the humanity. Climate change uh, urges humanity to change the way we worked before try to find new solutions, renewable solutions, green solutions in the energy sector that will help us save the future of the next generations. In this aspect, European Union and the target European Union has put about, has said about the energy transition uh, is the most ambitious in the planet. And we are very proud that we are, we are member of the European Union in this period that one more time, Europe is in the first uh, stage of showing to the rest of the world what we have to do in order to uh, make our future brighter. And I can say that I'm very proud that I participate to a government that our prime minister, almost the first month that we were elected in September 2019, announced one very important decision to decarbonize our energy sector faster than anybody else in Europe. As I'm sure you know here, we, we will uh, close all, all of our lignite plants until 2023, except one that will stay a little bit longer because it's very, very new and uh, much more friendly to the environment. Uh, this decision which was not an easy decision because some places of Greece, especially Western Macedonia and in Peloponnesus Megalopolis, they had an economy for many decades that was totally dependent through lignite plants. So this decision some years ago was totally out of the question. And the only discussion we had in the country is how we would find a way to continue using lignite plants and uh, save the jobs of the people that are working in these plants for many decades them and their families in the past. But Kriakou Mitsotakis, with uh, a very brave decision, changed that. He announced day one that he wants to transit Greece to a more friendly, energy-friendly environment. In the beginning, many people were skeptical. In this region, we had a lot of conflicts and people that were very much afraid. But now, one year after, everything is much more calm because all the people there see that we are doing a very professional job. We are uh, me, Mr. Hadzidakis, and the man that we put in charge in this transition, Mr. Musurulis, almost every second week in the region discuss with the mayors, with the perfector, uh, with the business community of the region, and we are providing them with all the information of our plan about what we're going to do in order to make this transition possible. As I'm sure you know, we have under public discussion our master plan about uh, uh, what we're going to do in these regions that had the lignite plants. And from early 2021, this master plan will start to be implemented in a very fast way in order to save jobs, to make big, big investments, to invest in, renew in renewable energy, in which I will come uh, short after, in order to show First, that we have a plan that we will secure their jobs, that we will provide them, I mean the people of the regions, a much better future and that we will follow our decision and will show to Europe a good example about what we really can do if we work hard and uh, we stay to our plan. I'm sure you understand, since I'm here in a conference of energy and many experts are here, and I want to thank uh, Your Excellencies being here with us and uh, having this good discussion, that uh, Greece has an, a natural advantage in uh, renewable energy. We have plenty of sun, we have plenty of wind, so all this year we were talking about these advantages and we never set them uh, in motion. This government decided this has to be changed. And we used our decision about the decarbonizing sector of our energy uh, as the uh, motive in order to go faster in this area, give incentives, 
Uh, we voted legislation that simplifies all the legislation procedure of all the solar and wind power plants. And of course, we are putting a lot of money and from the Transition Monetary Fund of European Union, uh, and of uh, the Ordinary European Funds, and from the uh, COVID Recovery Fund, and we have fixed uh, a master plan that will be funded more than 5 billion euros in the next years, only in these regions, in uh, various business projects. But one of the key sectors, maybe the first key sector of the economy, will be the renewable energy. Just because in this region we have the uh, extra advantage, solar and wind is almost everywhere in Greece, so you can do business almost anywhere. But there we have already the cable lines that will transit the energy that will be produced anywhere to Greece or to the Balkans or to the Western Europe very easy and very cheap since the infrastructure is already there because it was used by the lignite plants. And since we have a lot of land that now it will be spared and will be easy to be uh, transformed to another um, way of producing electricity. So with the simplification of, of our legislation, with the incentives we are giving in this region, and, uh, and with the energy need that we'll have in our market due to the closing of the lignite plants, we think that we are establishing a very business-friendly environment in order to have a lot of investments in this area, especially in this region, and of course in the rest of the country. I have, of course, uh, to tell you that our ambition is not only to have investments in this particular region, maybe there is an, an extra incentive and in our will to go a little bit faster, but the legislation we are voting apply to the whole of the country. And uh, our main ambition in the government is to transform Greece in the next three years in which we have the next elections. Uh, to the most business-friendly country of European Union, if we can. Uh, this is the reason we work very hard, not only the Ministry of Development and Investment, but throughout all the government, to find out all the problems that uh, potential investors could have coming in Greece. Uh, we're changing all the legislation that could have obstacles. Uh, we give the incentives that we can under European law, of course, and uh, European uh, uh, authorities. And uh, we show to all the potential investors that we are here to respect their time and money and help them to make their vision possible and money. We believe that throughout their success, we can promote the success of the country and have even more potential investors here in Greece. We want to change all the image that Greece had in the recent years as a, a failed state or, or as a state that if you go, you will only have problems and reverse it to a place that when you will go, you will find people that you will uh, be able to solve your problems and make your life easier. This is our biggest will. I have to mention that 2020 and for Greece as for the rest of Europe and the planet was a very strange year because of COVID-19. Of course, this changed all the plans we had, and we had to adjust ourselves to a totally new environment. But in a strange way, even though the damage in our economy was huge, and it still is, and there is the uncertainty of the vaccine and when the pandemic will start to slow down, because until today we have, uh, unfortunately, a second wave that is very um, uh, strong. But you, during this crisis of COVID-19, of the pandemic, Greece managed to restore a lot of our reputation that was lost in the recent years. Mostly because in the beginning of the crisis, uh, many people and foreign institutions thought that Greece would have uh, total chaos under the pandemic because of our healthcare system that was not ready or because our population that was uh, aging. Uh, and the state that wasn't working properly. We proved mm. to them that they were wrong. Uh, our healthcare system uh, managed to stand. Uh, our people followed the rules. The government took fast decisions and we managed to have one of the best performance under pandemic in the first wave. And now in the second wave, we still have uh, much better performance than many other countries that can be uh, paralyzed with us, with the same population or uh, kind of society. 
Uh, and uh, we saw that when we say something, we really mean it. And in the economy, in the beginning of this pandemic crisis, all the foreign institutions, either IMF, either European Commission or other, they had predicted that Greece, exactly because of our dependence on tourism, would have the worst uh, performance in our economy than any other European country. And after six months, the uh, European Commission has revised their prediction for Greece twice to the better. Uh, I will give an example. IMF had predicted that in the second uh, quarter of 2020, Greece would have uh, below 25 recession uh, in the quarter. At the end, we had 15% recession, exactly the average of European Union. It was 10% better than the original prediction. And uh, of course, it's huge, of course, it's big. But even though that tourist industry is the biggest sector of our economy, we managed to find ways to sustain our economy and still be functional and be ready when the vaccine is uh, in the market uh, to have a very strong reverse of our economy. And um, I, I'm totally confident that if uh, the vaccine will come, uh, Greece economy in 2021 will have a fantastic performance. Of course, I'm telling you again, there is an uncertainty if the vaccine will come. It's not something that our government can decide. It's something that we have to wait uh, the doctors and the researchers uh, to find it. But I'm still optimist that this will happen soon enough. And when the pandemic will start to slow down, Greece will be ready uh, to have more investments and to uh, show that uh, all this difficult period, we did our job and we are ready uh, to make the life of the investors easier and uh, put Greece again in the world map of foreign direct investments. Um, last but not least, I'm very proud as Minister of Development and Investment of uh, Hellenic Republic that in the first year of my term, Greece upgraded nine seats to the world uh, uh, rating of competitiveness which was the best performance we had throughout the year in the uh, recent decades. Uh, in the um, EY indicator of foreign direct investments, we upscaled by six positions. And the most important, the predictions for 2021 and 2022 are even much better. So we look forward to the future with optimism. We're working hard. We believe to our plan. We continue the reforms. We are ready to use the, the COVID-19 Recovery Fund of European Union in a very sophisticated way. Um, I wish you a good month since now is the 1st of October, but at the, at the end of this month, uh, um, we will have uh, publicized our master plan about how we're gonna use the extra 32 billion of the Recovery Fund, in which with the ordinary European funding, combines for the next six years to a huge amount of money for Greece economy up to 72 billion. And we're gonna use this money in a very sophisticated way, not just spreading money around, but transforming our country, continuing the reforms and changing our economy to a much more competitive way because we think that this is a big opportunity that Greece cannot lose. And with great responsibility, hard working with experts and uh, solid plan, we will uh, show to the rest of Europe that now Greece has left far behind all the bad habits of the past and we are really willing to change our country. So thank you very much for the invitation and I will answer to any question.